What's happening folks? Welcome back to Celtic Fans TV. It's time for the starting 11 prediction for tomorrow's home game against Rangers. This is obviously absolutely massive for us. Tomorrow there's nothing material left to play for in terms of this season. But I think tomorrow's massive both psychologically and in terms of looking ahead to next season. Um, this team, this Celtic team, have massively underperformed this season. Rangers have ran away with the title. It's mathematically concluded and we're only in the middle of March, um, which shows you how little of a fight that we've put up. And that's why I think tomorrow and in the post-split game at Ibrooks, um, we've got to put in performances that show Rangers that we haven't gone away, that we're still there and next season um, isn't going to be as comfortable as this season, that's for sure. Before we get into the build-up and the team for tomorrow, I have to tell you about our sponsors, One Football. The One Football app is the best football app on the planet. You can get pre-match stats before the game. You can get lineup notifications as soon as the teams are announced on match days. You can get goal alerts from all around the world, league tables from all around the world. You can add widgets to your home screen as well. That helps you keep up to date with Celtic's next fixture, who it's against, what the kickoff time is. Uh, all of that sort of stuff. You can download the One Football app by clicking the link in the description of this video. It's a fantastic way for you to support the channel. So if you watch all the time and you want to do something to help support us, it is by clicking the link below and downloading the One Football app. So get involved, click the link below and let me know what you think. From a Celtic point of view, we've obviously had quite a big break before this game. Um, since the 0-0 draw at Tannadice, we haven't had a fixture, no fixture last weekend, no midweek games. Uh, Rangers have obviously had their European ties against Slavia Prague. So I think it's going to be interesting to see how both teams start the game. Um, are Rangers going to be fatigued for their European games? Um, are we going to be fresh? We've talked about our fitness levels all season and there always seems to be that drop off after 70-75 minutes which we can't afford to have in this game tomorrow. And with the best part of two weeks off, two weeks to prepare for this game, um, I certainly don't expect any of that for Celtic and I want us to put in a high level of performance, play the game in our terms, make Rangers play our game. You could say that we've done that in the first half at Ibrooks, but obviously once the sending off happened, it kind of tailed off and then we went on to lose the game. I want us to maintain that. I want us to maintain a high level of performance. We've got to put up a fight, as I alluded to at the start of the video. I don't mean a fight in terms of putting in graft and flying into tackles. I mean a fight in terms of a controlled performance where we can go and dominate the game. And as I say, plant that seed of doubt in Rangers mind that we're not going to go away. This season has been a one-off, it's been a disaster, we've made it easy for them and it's not going to happen again. Um, that's what we've got to do tomorrow. We can't have any of these performances that we've had for the majority of the season and the majority of the games recently against Rangers. We haven't actually beaten them since the 8th of December 2019, that's a long time ago, far too long for my liking. Um, I know there was a Covid break, there was a first lockdown in that, but we've had three fixtures against them and they've won every one. Um, we can't let that go to four. They've won back-to-back -back games at Celtic Park. We absolutely cannot let that go to three. We've got to put in a performance tomorrow. I cannot stress that highly enough. So here's what I think the team will look like for tomorrow. I think Scott Bain will obviously be in goal. I think it'll be a back four. Um, John Joe Kenny at right back. You'd expect Stephen Welsh to start alongside Christopher Ayer. That's been the centre-half pairing recently. There's a big decision to be made at left back because John Kennedy confirmed yesterday that Greg Taylor has been training this week. Dago Laxalt was obviously started the last couple of games since Taylor picked up his injury at Walsh County. So it's going to be interesting to see who Kennedy goes with. I think I'm going to put Laxalt in there um, just because Taylor's been out for a couple of weeks. It was a muscle injury. I don't know if you can just throw him back into this sort of game because it could be fast paced for the start. Um, so I'm just going to go with Laxalt. But if Taylor is up to speed and, and John Kennedy's confident that he's fit, then I wouldn't be surprised to see Taylor get the nod. In midfield, I do expect it to be a 4-2-3-1 uh, set up, by the way. I think John Kennedy likes that. We've talked about that and, we, and we've seen it at Tannadice as well. Um, and I think, again, the result at Tannadice was really poor, but the performance in the first half was actually half decent. We did create a lot of chances, but the decision making in the end product was really poor. Um, so I expect us to play 4-2-3-1 in this game. That'll be Scott Brown alongside Callum McGregor. You could make a case for Sorrow starting. I know that a lot of people will want to see Sorrow start. Um, and there is a debate to be had about how mobile we can be in midfield with Scott Brown in there alongside Callum McGregor. But um, I've just got a feeling that's who John Kennedy's going to go with. In front of them, in the more advanced 10 position, if you like, it will be David Turnbull. Um, again, 
he's been an important player for us this season since he's come into the team. Um, I think he tired in the last derby at Ibrox, so he tired pretty early on. Um, so if we're going to play to a similar intensity and try and press Rangers like we did in that first half at Ibrox, I hope that David Turnbull is going to be able to last right into the, the closing stages of the game because you could really see it. our mark at Ibrox, he really tired and then he had to come off after the sending off and stuff. But um, hopefully his fitness levels are a bit better now and he can keep up with the pace of the game. Um, for, for the best part of the 90 minutes. On the right-hand side, I know a lot of you might be thinking you want James Forrest to start, and I want him to start as well because we've lacked natural width all season, and I think Ryan Christie playing from the right-hand side obviously hasn't worked at times. Um, he's obviously playing as an inverted winger out there, coming inside onto his left foot. It has been a struggle for us at times, and we've really missed James Forrest, but he's played hardly any football. I think he only got 10, 10 minutes or so at Tanadice. So to, again, to start him in this game, I think it's just going to be too early. I want him to start, but I don't think he's going to. I think we will see him at some point in the game. Um, and depending on how it goes, that could be early. There is an argument to be had that maybe you do start him and you try and get 60 minutes out of him and then change it. But I just think when he's been out for that period of time, um, I certainly think the advice will be against starting him. I think we'll have to build it up. John Kennedy talked about a training game that he played in, um, but you can't replicate the intensity of a proper first team game, particularly a derby like this, in a training match. So I think Christie will start on the right hand side, um, that's the only real option that we've got out there, um, if Forrest is going to start on the bench, but I expect to see James Forrest in the game, and I think the earlier the better. Left hand side, I expect El Yunusi to play over there, um, again Mikey Johnson out, not a lot of options really, um, in the wide areas, and I think El Yunusi will get the nod, he obviously played at Tannadice as well. Um, so I think it will be a similar setup. up Nusi on the left and up top Odson Edward obviously I know a lot of you will be wanting to see two up front but the reality is this season we've played two up front a lot and that hasn't worked either and as I say I don't think it's any secret that John Kennedy prefers 4-2-3-1 4-3-3 however you want to describe it um, I much prefer to describe it 4-2-3-1 because it's very distinct that you have the two sitting midfielders and then the three more attacking players and the striker up top um, so I think that will be the setup. Edward, we need a big performance from him, as we always do in these games. Um, he's given us some brilliant performances over his time here. This is likely to be his last derby for Celtic at Celtic Park. He's got to go and put in a performance because he has let us down this season at times as well. Um, he is a big game player, we know that he can perform, but we've got to see it tomorrow. And as I've said a few times throughout the video, um, we have got to perform tomorrow. The players have let us down this season, they've let themselves down as well. Um, we've got to go and perform. There's absolutely no two ways about that. Um, that's the team I think we'll go with tomorrow. In terms of the content, we will have live team news reaction one hour before kickoff at 11 o'clock. That'll be a three person panel this time instead of just me talking through the team. So don't miss that. And then we'll have all the normal post match content after full time as well. So don't miss it. Like this video, comment your own thoughts below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.